previous video we made a database and we uploaded to our remote folder and uh, we uploaded to our www root folder which is in a www root phone book number that's our uh, testing server folder inside we can see a database folder and we can see a database inside uh, we're gonna open our uh, train viewer and again on expanded windows remember we have a uh, site we up, I mean we select our database and uh, this is our testing server we refresh it to watch like uh, our database folder is already there and in our remote folder uh, we have our database also inside so uh, we're gonna choose our uh, again the testing server folder refresh it and close it the reason why I did this because we can just upload it our file directly to our testing server from over here okay uh, so uh, the second thing what we're gonna do over here uh, in order to make a connection um, our database is already over there and uh, we just need to make a file just click it on your project file uh, right click and a new file it will give you untitled.asp so just remove untitled and put default.asp which is going to be your home page default double click on that once you double click on that uh, you will see the application panel uh, underneath the application panel you will see a databases underneath the database you will see a button which is a plus button when you click this plus button, you will uh, see two options, custom uh, connection strings and data source name, which is DSN. We're using a custom connection string, and uh, we go ahead and click on that one. So we need a connection name, so you can just type anything you want. So I'll put my connection. string so I'm gonna use a driver for that so which is a Microsoft uh, provider Microsoft jet uh, OLEDB 4.0 what I'm gonna do is uh, again you have to carefully uh, you have to be really careful when you uh, choosing your path see on the data source uh, remember we made one uh, uh, folder on a WW root so the easiest way is uh, when you're on a double double root, just double click on phone book like your project folder, and uh, double click on a database. So when you click uh, on the address bar, you will have a full root. So just copy that and uh, paste. After uh, the database backslash, just copy uh, the phone book. I mean. Uh, the spelling because you don't need you don't have um, I mean you, you must correct your spelling and uh, there's my database my mean DB phone book dot M DB and the username uh, if you have a user ID or password so you can just put so I don't have any so simply I'm just gonna uh, select uh, copy and I will paste it over here Okay, and uh, Dreamweaver should connect with using driver on your testing server. Remember that IIS that we uh, uh, installed before. Again, uh, just test your uh, connection, and it should say connection was made successfully. If it doesn't uh, give you the successful, uh, I mean, not, uh, that uh, message. So I want you to check your spelling on your folders. Maybe like you know you didn't put the correct spelling on the database, or your I mean uh, the WW root or CISO I mean uh, data source file. So just uh, be careful. Uh, check your spelling and everything. And I want you to go ahead and click it OK. So it will uh, make a connection. In this connection, you can see the table. Remember we made one table. Table con uh, context. And in that we can see our image, contact name, number, uh, contact ID, and everything. So we have a 
connection has uh, been made successfully. So what I want you to do is go expandable view, or if you don't want to just go, just uh, click your connection and upload it to your testing server. Press no to that, and uh, remember you made one default page, which is over here, and uh, you can tap. default uh, page and uh, again upload to your testing server. Let's see if our testing service is working or not. So we're gonna type HTTP localhost uh, and after localhost remember uh, that the we have our path, we have to give the correct path over here. Uh, localhost Okay, so uh, first of all, we need to show our database over here. So I w what I want you to do is uh, build a record set. Uh, application panel, go to binding panel, uh, click on the plus button, and create a record set. RS contact. Connection, we already made connection. So choose the appropriate connection. And uh, table, we have only one table, uh, table contact. I want you to select all and uh, I want you to sort it by name and ascending. So just test our result and here is our database. You see and everything. Just click it OK, click it in, and we have our record set ready. To uh, set, uh, show that data on your page, you need to go to an application. On applications panel, you will see. Uh, dynamic data. You can choose, I mean, if it's uh, uh, when you click and uh, uh, choose a dynamic table, a dynamic, a dynamic table of, uh, it will uh, show your record set what you have made before. If you have more than one, it will show you like all of them. And uh, I will click uh, all records, so I want to show all my records and I will click it OK. Over here, I have a contact ID, name, number, and a mate. So, what I want, uh, I don't want it to show my uh, contact ID. So, I just uh, highlight all and click and delete. I want it to show the name, number, and for this right now, I will remove uh, this image also. So, I want a picture to show over here, not uh, my name. Just a text. So I will uh, select this to and delete. And uh, for code, I want uh, the center. I want a background. 
next video, I'm gonna show you how you can add it, uh, add new data, and uh, how you can add it. Uh,